y'all so first we are going to start by um spritzing our face with some fix plus i love to do it before i do my makeup it just gives my face um some hydration and some moisture so i'm just going to spritz that all over Whew. and it just doesn't have to dry or anything so now i'm going to go in with my primer so i like to mix baby skin primer and stay matte primer i have extremely oily skin and my face can just get really 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 oily and a primer is basically going to allow your um it's gonna fill in your pores as well as allow for um your makeup to have something to stick to and control your oil so you know how like you paint you prime something before you paint it you want to make sure that you prime your face before you apply your foundation and honestly most of these products that i'm going to be using except for like my highlighter and maybe my blush will be honestly from the drugstore so this is a fairly drugstore friendly um routine so allow that to sit for just a little bit because you want to make sure that your um primer is tacky so that your foundation can really stick to it before i do that i'm going to color correct so color correcting is going to allow you to um for, just for me like i have dark marks on my face so i'm just going to get those areas to just really like cancel out the color so that before i apply my foundation it's um pretty like it's just concealed if that makes sense and that's what orange is going to do it's going to conceal that i don't really color color correct too often but i have done it the other day and it really made a bigger difference so you don't have to od on the um the orange concealer but i'm just going to you know color correct a little bit but i'm just using a concealer wheel from bh cosmetics and it looks like this so now i'm just going to take my damn um real technique sponge and i'm just going to blot that all over well blend it out And you can apply more of the um the orange concealer if you feel like it's not really concealing, you know, what you're applying. What your the dark marks is what I'm trying to say. Sorry. Okay, so now with my foundation, my Maybelline Fit Me foundation, I'm just gonna take it on a real technique stippling brush and just begin to pat that all over my face. So with this foundation, it's going to oxidize, and some people don't like their makeup to do that, but mine doesn't bother me because I know that it's oxidizing so it'll get darker so right now it might look a little orange but that is okay and just apply some more foundation if, on your face if you need to so helpful tip of the day when you do do your foundation you want to make sure that you are bringing it down to your neck so that you don't look like you have on a mask um because like you, sometimes it's like it might be a match but you just you just want to make sure everything looks perfect so just make be sure to blend on your neck and as well as your um into your hairline and um i know you some of you guys might not know like what foundation you are or what to wear you can go to sephora and get matched or i mean if you can go to the store just try out foundations and see which one works best for your skin and which one you like so i don't know like certain foundations work better just for people with oily skin people with combination skin and just make sure that you're finding products that you know you like don't always like listen to other people just go and like find out for yourself what works best for you because nobody knows you better than you and that's your money that you have to spend on that product so yeah like i said just be sure to push the um foundation into your hairline and really buff this into your skin and make sure that it's like seamless because you don't want your foundation to be looking crazy you don't want it to be looking cakey so like i said don't od on the foundation but make sure that you are just blending everything out And to blend that just a little bit more, I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge again and just begin to, um, you know, pick up any excess foundation and just really work that product in my skin. Okay, so now getting into the highlighting, which is everybody's favorite part. So when you're highlighting, you're going to make sure that you are getting the important parts and the parts, the places on your face that are going to be like... The light is going to catch so like under here your forehead your nose your cupid's bow your chin so i like to go in with la girl pro concealer in the shade espresso and when you are applying your um your concealer you want to make sure that you're not putting it too close like right here because that's where it tends to crease so you just want to make sure that you like look and see how i'm applying it so don't get too close to your under eye but make sure that you are getting down far enough so And when you make your um your line on your nose, you want to make sure that you make it as small as possible because that's basically 
you know setting you up for how like your contour is gonna go so if your line is extremely um big you want to refrain from doing that because that's gonna mean that your contour is not gonna be as small so okay so I typically don't put the highlight right there and I'll show you guys later why but now I'm just going to take this real technique sponge oh I'm sorry I'm lying I'm actually going to go in with this lighter concealer just to brighten up my under eye a little bit more and it's just in the, the LA girl um, pro concealer in cool tan and I just like to place it like right here just so that it gets a little bit like more fancy in this little vicinity you feel me but this part is completely optional and you can like do that on your day where you're feeling like, extremely fancy or just a little bit more fancy so now I'm just gonna blend away and you just want to make sure everything is seamless cuz you don't want your highlight and your contour to be like hella detectable you want everything to just look natural like people don't need to know all your business they don't need to know how you out here wearing your highlight and your contour they just need to know that you look like a flawless chick okay that's what they need to see and just be sure to blend I actually don't like to spritz my um my, my little blender I like to dampen it under the sink that is really going to allow it to um get extremely like saturated so when you so like squeeze it out it's really damp and it just blends the makeup away so nicely and yeah All right, so now going in with this new product that I've been using, I'm taking the Sasha Buttercup Cosmetics um, setting powder and a little spongy sponge, and I am going to begin my baking process. So you want to make sure that you're like pushing the product into the skin so that like it's really ensuring that this is not going to crease. So push that into that skin, girl. Okay, so now going in with this Black Radiance Concealer Stick. It's in a shade a little bit darker than me. I'm going to begin to carve out where I want my contour. And if you don't know where you want your contour, you can like suck in your face some. And you can carve right there. And with your nose contour, you want to make sure that you're going in with a smaller brush to get that so it's really precise. Okay, so now I'm going in with my stippling brush and I'm just going to begin to blend out my contour shade and when you're doing it you want to make sure that you're blending up so that it really blends into your foundation also if necessary go back in with your sponge and you can blend out that contour shade Okay, so the most important thing about getting flawless foundation or just flawless makeup in general, you want to make sure that you're setting everything so that things don't crease and so that things last, you know, your makeup lasts for a long time. So now I'm going in with this brush by e.l.f. It's so cute. It's a little contour brush and my favorite powder that I like to contour with and this is by Ruby Kisses. I'm just going to begin to bronze up my face so that this contour is really sticking out. So suck in your face and just, you know, go in with a light hand and just get that contour in. But if you don't have this brush, you can definitely use a stippling brush to set your contour, I promise. And be light on this product because you don't want everything, you don't want it to look too harsh, but you still want it to look, you want to look chiseled. And I'm going to contour my nose later. But now, so that this contour really sticks out and it pops, I'm going to go back into my Sasha Buttercup cosmetics powder my little setting powder and take my wedge and begin to really like go make a straight line against the contour so that it looks really really like clean and chiseled so Okay, so now we're just going to buff away this product and you just kind of like want to lightly sweep everything away But you want to make sure that you're not leaving too much of a harsh line And also we did this line under here last because it really cleaned up that contour as well as It's like it is baking less less than the top one is because you don't want this part to be too harsh and apparent
all right so i like to make sure that my face is like you know just extremely matte and has color in it so now i'm gonna go in with my foundation this is the l'oreal true match powder and i'm powder, powder foundation i'm just going to kind of like blot that all over my face first and this is just to set everything and this is like my, my actual color so i'm just going to set all of everything so that nothing looks too harsh where my highlight is toned down just a little bit because i'm not like too much of a bam i'm not an extremely showy person when it comes to my makeup i just like everything to look flawless and yeah be sure that you blend down to your neck so then to follow up with that i like to go in with my a mac mineralized skin finish in dark deep and place that all over as well and this just gives me a really bronzy glowy um look and it just completes the look and i just like to just grace that over my face just real lightly so this part is extremely optional i bet you guys are like you're putting so much stuff on your face like calm down but i get oily so i like to go in with my air splint powder it's a translucent powder and i like to put it into places that i personally crease so that's really like in this area you can't really stop that too much but i know that I like to just you know put that extra care so I like to put it right there and just be real light with it you don't have to OD on the powder and on my nose a little bit and just be sure to dust that off so before we do the blush and the, um, highlight and everything I am going to contour my nose so that it looks smaller so I love my nose um but yeah you just contour it to just make to give your face a little bit more dimension so i'm going in with this little angle contour brush it's by elf and the same powder that i used to contour my face and i'm going to start at my eyebrow and this is really going to give the appearance that my, my um nose looks smaller And I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and just blend all of that out. Okay, so for blush, I'm just going to rose up my cheeks with MAC Mineralized, um, not MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, but um, MAC Blush in the shade Raisin. And this is a very pretty color. It's a plummy looking, I don't even know, it's just gorgeous. And I just like to smile so it really like gets on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so before I do apply my highlighter, I'm actually going to spritz my face with my MAC Mineralize, my MAC um, Fix Plus. And this is because my face is a little bit cakey or dry, and I don't like that kind of look. So I'm going to actually spray it with this first, or just mist it with this, just so it's like moisture added back into my face. And this is also going to... um give my highlight something to stick to and have a really good shimmer so I'm gonna let that I'm gonna fan that just a little bit on my face and and now I'm just gonna take my fan brush before my highlight dries I'm sorry before that fix plus dries and put that to the high points of my face And if that highlight is just a little bit too much for you, you can go in with a brush and just really like fan that out and blend out that highlight so it has a softer look, especially on the nose. Okay, now to set everything, I'm going to take my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Powder and just spritz that all over. And also, I didn't mention that the setting spray is going to allow my face to just, you know, stay on for the whole day. Hopefully, just to keep it in place. I've had good, um, you know, makeup days with the Makeup de slicking Spray by Urban Decay, so it's really good. So, also to ensure that your makeup is flawless, you want to make sure that you're not having any flashbacks. So, you don't want to really leave your house and your makeup doesn't look good or you need to blend it somewhere. So, before, just be sure to grab your phone. Okay, turn it around. Put the flash on and on. And make 
make sure that everything looks good so I hope that all the tips that I gave you guys in this video was extremely helpful um highlight and contour that's just something that you have to play with it looks good I like mine to look extremely natural I don't like my face to look beat like I'm finna go to prom and to a wedding every single day I like to look like this just a little chisel not too dramatic just cute enough you know, I'm not a makeup artist of any sort. This is just how I like to do my makeup. So I hope this, you know, you go do your makeup out there as a chocolate girl and just continue to look pretty. So I'll see you guys in the next one.